Hello fashionistas and welcome to another WGSN tutorial. In this tutorial we will walk through the image gallery which is a great tool for finding quality images on WGSN. So if you have a school project and you're looking for high resolution images with great quality the image library is the place to go. Now in order to find the WGSN image library there are different ways that we can go ahead and do it. The image library is available under any of these categories whether it's women, men, youth, kids, all markets. You can simply go to research and under research you will find the image library. Please keep in mind it doesn't matter whether you go through women, men, youth, kids or all markets, it's still going to bring you to the same page. They have just made it easier for you to find it accessible through any of these different categories. So when I go ahead and select image library, this is what I will come to. It is a resource for all of the images that they have on WGSN. So I can find images that are all the latest images. I can find catwalks, I can find street style, I can find vintage, I can find retail, trade shows. It goes on and on and on. Now, something really great is that we can have different filters that we can use while we're in the image gallery. For instance, we can actually filter by categories. So if we're looking for catwalks for retail, street style, trade shows, vintage, so on and so forth, we can actually filter to find just this. Now, we can also filter by different design resources. There will be a video just about design resources later on. However, this is a way to get to those images. For instance, if you only want flats because you are looking to create or to have a project where you need flats and you have to edit them on Photoshop, here are some great flats that they have created or they have added just for you. The amount of selection is amazing. It's so many different flats that you're able to find. In fact, there are 78,151 results just for flats, right? Giving you so many options for projects. Now, let's say that I'm looking for a particular market. I can search for markets, so women, men, girls, boys. I can search by product. So let's say that I'm looking for accessories. I'm looking for bags. I can actually filter this all the way down to just simple bucket bags. So let's say that I can go ahead and just want to find bucket bags. I can select apply and it will give me all of the images available for bucket bags. Again, there are 13,000 images available. So you have a world to choose from, which is fantastic because of the high quality of these images. So let's say that I love this bucket bag from Louis Vuitton. I want to go ahead and select it because I want to save this image. Now there are several ways that we can do this on the image library. If you look to the right, you have a small toolbar that is located next to the picture. In this toolbar, we can do different things. First, with this little square with the plus sign, we can add the image to a folder that has been created here on WGSN. So when I go ahead and select this, right, I can create a new folder and I can label it bucket bags. I can go ahead and save and then I can go ahead and exit. Now, when I select bucket bags, I can go ahead and click save and you can see that the image is already saved into my folder, which is why it didn't save at the moment, because it's already in there when I created the folder. Now I can go ahead and select cancel, and it'll close the screen, bringing me back to the picture. Now let's say that I like this bucket bag over here. Now I can go ahead and do the same. I can select that little plus sign, I can go to bucket bags, and I can select save, and you will see one image saved to bucket bags. One image saved to bucket bags. Another app option that we can use is that we can download the picture. So right under that little plus sign to save the image, we have an arrow pointing down. This is so that we can download the image. So we can go ahead and select. We could even name it, let's say bucket bag, so that we know exactly where to find it. And we can go ahead and download and here it is. Now we have our own 
downloaded version of the bucket bag. So we can use it to edit within Photoshop. Now, something very important to note when we're using the image gallery is that yes, WGSN provides all of these amazing tools for students. However, these pictures do not belong to us. These pictures belong to WGSN and we cannot post them on social media or use them for any other intended purpose than for projects in school. These do not belong to you. They are property of WGSN. So we are borrowing these pictures in order to create great projects. Let's be really thankful that they've given us this availability of images and use them wisely. We do not want to get in trouble with such an amazing company like WGSN. So of course, we can also print the picture. Here's a little picture of a printer and here we can print the image. I can even select the paper size and even your orientation, landscape or portrait. And we can also email, right? So this little paper plane here is to email it to someone that we might think or even to ourselves. You know, this will be something that someone we can share with someone or to remind ourselves that this image is important and we want to use it later. Once we are done, we can go ahead and exit out and we can continue either filtering it by seasons, by colors, different um, filters that we can use to really find the perfect pictures for our projects. So if you have any other questions in terms of the image library, I am more than happy to answer them. It is a great tool and I highly encourage you to use it with your projects in order to have a great turnout and great quality. Thank you very much.